shit. Try that again. Pop that in here. This time we're gonna actually load the quick save. Alright, so we're stuck in this vat of bile here. Fighting monster groups. We should be able to handle this. And then we go to the giant. Get lucky and not get Rydia. Alright. They're dead. Not the worst fight we're gonna fight here, but we got him. Moonring Blade. That is no better. Why would anyone choose this? I guess it's the same damage in the back row. Is he in the back row? He sure the fuck is. So, let's give him that. Maybe he'll do a little more damage from back there. And... Oh, all of our Essenu casters are not able to cast. So that sucks. Gotta use one of these. Didn't take a whole lot of damage that round. Here we go. Four of them, I told ya. This is where it goes wrong. Damn it. That didn't work. We need to get our asses moving. Jesus! Come on. Do it! Got him. That's the hardest fight we're gonna do in here. They damn near wiped me out. There's that, uh, sword that I was talking about. It's now called the Avenger, which is actually, I think, what it was called before, not the Defender. Defender's a different place, so I forgot. We have definitely seen better days than this. Exhausted Cecil of all of his shit. Now oh, those Marlboros just fucking flatten your ass after you're done. Four of them. There was the random chance that everyone would have been fucked there. That unicorn horn didn't do shit either. I always thought unicorn horn fucking cured the status of everyone, but apparently they changed it. To just be sleep, paralysis, confusion, and berserk, which is honestly pretty fucking worthless, actually. So, that 
goes to show I should have fucking read the description, but I didn't have time. Because I fucking assumed that it always was going to be the same. But I should never assume shit. I don't think there's going to be another one of those. Oh, let's equip this sword. It should be significantly better. Oh, we do have a defender sword as well. Where did we get this? What the fuck is this? It gives you a lot of shit. Minus 10 intellect. But this one's better. It gives you strength plus 10. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just use the defender. Must have got it before. Yo, Trinio. Here we go! Easy. White Fang. Will all six Fyras get off? Yes, they will. Hey, Dandy Salad, what the fuck is up? Time for my hour of not doing jack shit. Welcome to that hour. You are now part of it. It's been a damn good day. I got very lucky this morning and shorted a shitty pharmaceutical stock that went down like 40% immediately afterwards. So I'm pretty pleased with that shit. I've been very lucky today. A lot of issues got resolved. I've got this cat. Can't complain. I really fucking can't. Good for you. I'll be there tonight. I'm gonna be celebrating, I guarantee that. What the fuck? That thing has like got no hit points at all. They're not even worth my magic points. And we got the Medusa arrow, which you can also steal from basilisks out where we're about to go. So now I don't have to steal that shit. That's nice. I wonder if they revamped the steals in this game. Alright, we got out of there without dying. That's it for that. Time to resupply at this shitty dwarf place. And then we should be good to go. Not this one, the one down here. I said I'd never be back here again. I fucking lied. The bitch just gets in my way all the time. To the fucking store. Because they put these long court. This bitch! See? This bitch won't let me through. Ever. But I don't even need armor, so suck it. I'm going over here. I hate that fucking thing. Kubilai. The fuck is up? Welcome to this afternoon's fucking broadcast. Where I will be going into the Giant of Babel. We're gonna be pretty much supplying ourselves. The diet food joke still not politically incorrect enough to not get in there. It takes you from being a pig to not being a pig. So basically calling all fat people pigs. <laughs> Didn't get cut. In fact, it was added because I don't think that was even an item in the American version before. We got these, we got these, we need more of these. We need 
way more of these. They don't call this fucking midge mallet, though, it's dwarven bread. So that's, that's politically more correct than it used to be. I don't know if this was the midge mallet one, or if that was Secret of Mana, or both. I couldn't tell you. Got my remedies back from that horrible fight, and now we're good. Oh, let me stay at their fucking inn, too, because they're gonna throw me right into the belly of the beast. If this bitch will get out of my way! You stupid fucking bitch! There you go. Hate them. Sounds reasonable enough. What's Sloppy Toppy? Is that when you... Explain what the fuck Sloppy Toppy is. Acquiring minds must know. It's afternoon where I'm at, so that sentence is already half fucking wrong anyway. Head? That would be nice. I mean... I have to work in the morning, I don't exactly get to fucking get head during the work day. If I do, I certainly fucking can't tell you I do. <laughs> I have not seen any grapefruit videos except for perhaps Pen Pineapple Apple Pen, which I think is more pineapple oriented than grape juice. Yeah, I've had a good fucking morning regardless. I don't know about Sloppy Top. I really do need to look that up. Since you won't fucking say it. Alright, so if I go down here... Oh, I, I have to do something else. Oh, well, I, I guess I have something else to do anyway. Let's go kill Odin. I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. I'm a little bit confused. I thought that you just show up at the Giant of Babel and you're done. God damn it. <coughs> Alright. You don't have to open the doors anymore. Did you see that? Normally, you click on this and it opens the door. But, they decided that was too hard to have to operate the doorknob. So, if you just walk right up there, it'll open up. That's a fucking... What about... Wait. What about that one? What about that one? Well, this one ain't opening up without you touching it. Inconsistent. Alright, the people of this castle have been hearing moaning noises from this area. Do we have Thundaga yet? No. God damn it. We're still kicking his ass. This is one of those timed battles, so I could be fucked over here. I think that hallway used to be longer. Here we go. Gotta be quick. Nice! Those arrows do a shit ton of damage.
Alright, I think we've got this. This New World game looks interesting, but I'm not an MMO guy. God, I fucking decimated that thing. He didn't even get to raise his sword up or do anything. That was a slaughter. Anyway, I feel like I want to look at that, but it's like... You gotta, it's an Amazon game, made by Amazon. It looks okay, it doesn't have shitty combat like a lot of MMOs do. But it's a fucking MMO, so I mean, that's gonna take a lot of time if I do that. I don't have a lot of time. Obviously, I'm a little bit stoked about the fucking uh, new releases of Final Fantasy V and VI, especially VI. So those will be cool. I can't wait for the new Elder Scrolls, but that ain't on the horizon yet. We don't even have a release date for that. I want the new Grand Theft Auto game, too. That doesn't have shit announced for it, either. Other than that, there's nothing really on my radar. That's a weird bug to have. I'm sure they'll fix it. I can use four or six, though, from where I'm at, so... If you're stuck on... Uh, IPv6, then I don't know what to say. I guess they'll fix it. Or you can get it refunded, because Steam will do that. Elden Ring? I've played the Dark Souls games, they're hard. I'm not good at them. In fact, I'm honestly poor as fuck at them, but I have played them. And, uh, I don't know about Elden Ring. Is that a Souls game? Is that a new one? Is that coming? Couldn't tell you. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I totally fucking don't know. I thought that that shit would attack me the second I fucking got exhumed from the earth. That's why I wove around very specifically not around this area. Pick up this fucking... Oh, this can't pick that up. So I would have to take this airship here, and then pick it up with that. I don't think that's what needs to be done, I'm just doing it. Look at how that thing fucking hovers in the air after you take off. See the shadow there. It's got auto hover, it's a fucking Tesla product. I do like challenges. There is no doubt about that. Where in the fuck? Where do I go? Any of you guys have a fuck clue what I'm missing here? There ain't no king and baron no more. There ain't anything to talk to at this point. I've got this drill ship up Mysidia, of course. I've got to go to Mysidia. That's where they told me to go. I forgot. We gotta go pray for the fucking big whale to come out of the goddamn ocean. And we gotta go to the moon before we come back and, and trigger that shit. I totally forgot about this shit. We're going to the moon, bitches. I fucking... I should have fucking said we're going to the moon in the title. That's what's fucking gonna happen here. Got my plot order wrong. He's coming right out to me this time. He stopped praying for a second. Dun, dun, da, dun, dun. Oh, it's not time for that music yet. Here's the inscription. It 
Cecil was not born of a dragon. He was born of a Lunarian. Like Fusoya, some old bitch. Definitely not a dragon. So I don't get how that fucking legend applies. But whatever. Nice. It's a nice sentiment. The kanji in that fucking poem is pretty cool, too. If I ever have a sword commissioned in my name, I have that shit engraved in there. Giving birth to this giant ship. There it is. The lunar whale. Meanwhile, the sky is full of thunder clouds, and it's going to explode. It wasn't going to explode in the Super Nintendo version. That's been underwater this whole time. They should have just exhumed it. Oh, it did explode. Damn shame, you hate to see it. It's the ninth crystal that they don't ever mention other than that one time. We are going to the fucking moon. Once we get Fusoya, we're getting Bahamut too. So I don't think we're gonna make it to that fucking giant anymore. I'm gonna change the description. It's wrong. Oh yeah, there it is. I got my point across without getting banned off of the fucking title wagon there. Twice for good measure. There it is, the ninth crystal. It's orange. What do we get in this fucking beautiful establishment? get our own fat chocobo that we don't need. We get beds that we could have used instead of that cottage. I'm fucking stupid and forgot that we get three beds in this thing. Alright, let's look at how high up we can fly this thing. And then we'll go to the moon. Very high up. But it's not even more zoomed out than it was. So, I don't know, they just didn't want to draw the map again, I guess, or zoom it out. That's what I was looking for, to see if they put any effort into raising that thing up before they did in the other game. Alright, let's go! Let's watch this thing go to the fucking moon. Here's the proof that the Earth is round. There it is. get stars in the background, kind of. It's a little bit underwhelming, but it's different than it was. There's Bahamut's cave right there. There's the Crystal Palace right there. And here's where we have to land. Let's listen to this music. We've got a couple of tracks we have to listen to here, so sorry. Fucking wait. This ain't bad. It's 
nice stereo effects too if you've got a headset on. This is good. This is a good track. They didn't fuck anything up in this one. Good for them. And this one, now we have a new track again. We've heard this once before, but I want to hear it again. That piano sample is thinner than an actual piano is. I am a Zelda fan, yes. I've played several Zelda randomizers in the archives. You can go to Bum's Dumpster at YouTube and find all the Twitch archives. You'll see I've played several Zelda randomizers. A link to the past one I'm not done with. And Zelda 2 I did as well. I've played the Zelda games so many fucking times that at this point I have to turn up the difficulty to have a good time, but it is definitely a series I love, and uh, I am definitely stoked for the Breath of the Wild 2 whenever the fuck that shows up. That I'm stoked for, to answer the question far up there. Forgot about that one. Yeah, this is good. What up, X7Tech? You bitch, welcome to the channel. Right now we're just listening to some music and I'm talking over it like an asshole. This is the remastered um, English version of the Japanese 4. Yes. It's not in Japanese, it's in English. I have played the Japanese version many times on multiple systems. I even got the pink tail in the legit Super Famicom cart, which I will have to show you guys at one point. I'll have to move it out of the other room, away from the CRT TV, plug it into this thing using a converter and do it. But I do need to do that. Whenever my daughter hears this track, she's like, DONG! That's all she says. It's pretty fucking hilarious, actually. It's definitely Final Fantasy 2 for the Gaijins that don't do any research, but at this point, it's been re-released as Final Fantasy 4 like eight times or something like that, so even Gaijin know what the fuck's going on with the shitty 2-4 thing that they did. That was a 1990s problem right there. It could have a melody, but there isn't, so there's no melody to this. I'll move soon, I promise. Well, I'm going to get attacked, so I just want to get through this track. It never goes back to the intro, the way that he set the loop on this one, I'm pretty sure that the first, like, five measures of this, uh, track have a repeat cutoff that don't come back to it. So I'm gonna go now. I think we've heard enough. As I expected, these things hit kinda hard. I can't do dick to them without magic. You're right, Moog. It always does. Seems the caves really inspire composers. Alright, we gotta fight this one. No reason to ma ration magic points at this point. My worm now. What'd I get? Oh, hell yes! Can't fucking argue with that. And 
Iridia gains yet another 100 hit points. She's almost acceptable at this point as a human being. Not quite. Ah, uh, one more. That Leviathan may be overkill. We're tearing these moon cells apart. But it's leveling us up like we fucking are underleveled or something. Got a lunar curtain. Very important. Very important fucking item to get in this. We're just gonna spam attack. So I think that there's no need. I never associated these menu sounds with soap dropping. Maybe on Looney Tunes, but whenever I drop the soap, it sounds like conk, and that's what it sounds like. Doesn't fucking go weak like uh, Looney. Level ups out the ass. All right, we're out. Dong. I got another one of those hard cutoffs today, unfortunately. So, at 55 after, I really need to tie it up. But the quick save option may push us a little further than that. Why is Minnesota calling me? Hello? What do you want? You're calling me. Stupid bitch. Fucking dumb shit. Some stupid robot. But it was from a fucking Minnesota number. I don't understand what Minnesota's doing calling my ass. Obviously, it's being a fucking shitty robot. That's what it's doing. Nobody fucking picked up! They couldn't even tell me about my warranty. They just fucking hung up after they realized that I was an irate freak. It was just a waste of time. It wasn't fucking scam. <laughs> they make you go to both sides of this shit for some reason, to cure yourself. That's never been changed in all of the versions of this. And from deep within the throne comes forth the oldest motherfucker you'll ever see in this game. If you thought Tella was old, 
This guy is on the brink of fucking death. Oh, now the planet's between Mars and Jupiter. This is news. So they're not really Lunarians at all. They're fucking Planetarians. Because they, they would have had to have been on a moon to be Lunarians. They were on a planet. They created another moon. You didn't even know what the fuck Lunarians were, Edge. How the fuck... Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't make shit of sense. Ah, there's someone like Yuna in the group of, Lunar of Lunarians. Someone understands that being awake gets more done. And he was forced to sleep. Much like Yuna. Better watch out. Maybe I ought to let her stay up more. I honestly let her stay up till like 12. So... <laughs> I can't really do much more than that. It's Zemus. The hatred. Dimensional elevator. See, I always wondered what the fuck the giant would even do to get you to the moon. It just walks around and shoots shit. It doesn't fly or anything. If they wanted to go to the moon, they should have just got this fucking ship that we got. They only needed one crystal to do that. Golbez would have focused his efforts on exhuming that shit. Would have been a lot more efficient. Pretty much, Dandy, yeah. That's the, the second book in the Wonka series, exactly. And also, it's a conceptual idea. The space elevator. You could actually suspend an object in orbit with some sort of tether. It's never been proven to be viable, but in theory, we could transport objects to space without fear of fuel costs and other shit like that. Just use a pulley or something. Clue ya. I thought the fucking Sid made the airship technology. Dong. It already is on the blue planet, you fucking geezer. You don't know anything. This guy is so chock full of fucking inconsistencies and fucking alternative facts. He has to come with us. He's exactly what we need. Oh, that might be someone very important. Hold on. I'll be at the door real quick. I think someone important is at the door. Hello. Hello how are, you? are you? Let me. I'm actually on a call. I'm gonna get off it though. It's not important. Then I'll be able to talk to you. Did you mute it? Yep. Well, no, I didn't actually. All right. Well, whatever. My piano tuner's here. 
So I gotta fuck get off of this. I'm gonna quick save right now. This will affect you guys because then it's not my coke supplier. <laughs> my piano tuner. I told you guys I was doing that. Oh, okay. Have a good rest of your day.